So I was called to diagnose this car. This is RAV4. And the issue in it is it has a problem with the EVAP system. And it stays that small leak. Uh, so I've erased the fourth code. So I did that. The moment the client got home, the fourth came back again. So now what I'm doing is I'm scanning the whole system, although I've erased the code. And anytime it comes on, it allows the ABS to come on and the other light also comes on. So I'm trying to see how best I can solve it. So what I've done is I'm smoke testing it because it's stating small leak. So I'm smoke testing it to identify the actual problem with it. So the ABS is having problem because there is still problem in the engine and I don't know why to have done it that way. So you can see history and the other <coughs> apart from the other bag, the other control modules are reporting that the ABS is having an issue. So that one after fixing the check engine light, the ABS light has to go. So what I'm going to do is um so this is the fourth code remaining so these are the fourth code incorrect page valve bar um i'm mainly so you can see it states that system leak detected very small gross leak so i have to determine it i have to smooth test the evap system to see if i can find any leak around then i'll know what to do so with the key on i go to active test so that i can activate I can activate it so when you use this one this one is for the page valve when you turn this thing on is the page valve that is going to turn on and off when you are using this function so let me turn the page valve on so i've already <coughs> So I smooth test it and the page valve you can hear it clicking and I have tested <coughs> I have tested the page valve and there is no leak with the page valve. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the leak on the uh, canister itself. So let me go back. It will stop automatically. So let me go back. When you want to check the canister vent, this is where you come to. So you see activate vacuum switch uh, valve which for vent valve so the vent valve means the patch valve so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to turn on my smoke machine and see if i switch this vent valve off the smoke stops and so if i switch it on rather i think the smoke will stop and when i switch it off the smoke will start coming so let me see if that's where the small leak is coming from. Because normally when you, start it, when you shut it on, the smoke should stop coming. So let me do that and let's see. So they gave you an instruction that it shouldn't be above 3 kPa. So let me do that and let's test it. So this is my smoke machine now. I'll turn it on. Sorry. Let me turn it on. I switch on with the EVAP. So I turn on EVAP mode so that, that, so let me reduce it. Let me reduce the flow. Let me reduce the flow. So now, so that whenever it's getting to the point, it will, it will stop or you see it dropping. So when it gets to, I think this one is around 10 PSI. So when it gets to that point, they say 3 kPa. So when it gets to that point, it should stop, right? So it should move within here and it should stop. And at now, it's still moving. It's still running, right? So what I'm going to do is, uh, let me take the machine down here. So this is the chaco canister. So this is the one from the tank. This is the hose from the tank. And this is the vent hose. So this is the vent sensor. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to activate it. The moment I activate it, you can see, you can hear it clicks. And when I turn it off, you can hear it it's clicking. So when I activate it, it clicks and it goes off. So now what I'm going to do is, um, normally 
when this thing is off when let me remove the hose so when this thing is off i hope you can see the smoke when this thing is off the smoke should stop flowing so sorry when it is on the smoke should stop flowing and you can see the smoke is flowing slowly it's flowing slowly and with this it will never allow the purge or it will, it will it's still allowing smoke to escape so when i turn it on it will start flowing heavily when i turn it on it stops flowing but you can see that it's still flowing so this means that the small leak is from the vent sunlight which is leaking now it has to stop the vapor from flowing so with this what i'll do now is um i will block it and see if my if my system will be able to hold pressure a bit then from there i will know that oh okay it is from the vent sunlight which is not allowing the which is allowing the smoke to escape or the tank pressure to escape and that's why the vehicle is reporting that it has it has small leak so with this leak when i turn it off you can see it is running and i turn it off you even hear the pressure so at this point it's, it has to stop at it has to stop everything and it has to hold pressure but it's not able to do that and it's allowing the pressure to escape so when i turn it on you hear the pressure that will come out so you hear it and turn it off then i'll block it and see if i'll be able to help the system to hold some pressure then from there i know it is for my vent sunlight thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so now what i've done is i've placed the stopper there to stop the system or to stop the leak so let me check if my system will be able to hold pressure a bit so with this we gave the car to the customer and she took it home and the fault couldn't come again so that means the stop uh, uh, the leakage was from that side thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos.